What's going on here, Santa? Were you born with a beard? I had no idea. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. They're open and we're going into the we're going into the Bloomington Antique Mall or BAM as it's called. Here we go. There you go. See up there Bloomington Antique Mall. It's in this beautiful old building. And we just paid to park. There is metered parking on here. So I'm going to get my mask on and we are going to go inside. All right. I walked right in and I see this fun. This is a Rushton Santa Claus. It is on sale for $29 firm. He does have a few little condition issues. This is the Coca-Cola Santa. So he would have his little bottle of Coca-Cola in his hand. He does have the white boots. So I think I'm going to get him. I think so. It's got a little bit of issues right there on his hat, but I think I'm going to put him in my cart. Santa's going to go on a ride with me. This is a little, they call it an ashtray. And I guess it would be because it has these like little divots here. It's $10. Carl. Carl painted this. Good job, Carl. There's a little cloisonne style candy dish set of vintage ornament ornaments for six dollars i don't know if they're shiny bright so it's, they're not in a really neat box because sometimes you pay up for the box not necessarily the ornaments themselves this is a pretty display i like that i have one of these have to take a picture of that because I like that idea. It's a beautiful old building with these old floors. I'm gonna skip ahead. Oh, that's so beautiful piece of glass. It is $24. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I see a dog. There's, oh, he's $89. He is a cast iron Boston Terrier. This one's $50 for the cast iron poodle. Hey, straight ahead, I'm seeing a booth that has piqued my interest. And that is the 50s kitsch booth. Look at this. Let me just step back so you can just take in the beauty of this booth. I'm going to have to set my basket down with Santa in it so I can get in here. And we can get good look at everything inside oh my word look at this it's the whole spice family for $39 I love those this is neat oh look it's cherries it's a little cherry pottery matchbox for $15 that spongeware kind of paint on it there's an acrylic napkin ring for $12.50 like a poinsettia oh look went to pee leave this drink alone and it's got a whistle on it why do i like that wet your whistle it's a wet your whistle muck went to pee hmm. i like it oh, i like this book too sons of the oceans deep look at the graphics on this book and the color with the green and the red together it is $8 for this book, but man, I kind of like it. I'm going to think about it. And the Hardy's, Hardy Boys books. Oh, here's a little dog hanky. Is that a, um, well, what kind of dog is that, guys? Let me know. What kind of dog is that? Airedale? Is it an Airedale? Maybe. Oh my gosh, look, we've got some there's a little vintage angel with the bulbs. There's a little bitty one back there the, for $5. Oh, we've got a strawberry cookie jar for $15. Hey, look at the graphics on here. Uses only dead space between the... What is this for? Oh, it's a spice chest. Oh, okay. So you could pull this and you keep it underneath your cabinet. That's kind of that's kind of ingenious. 
I think this is just the box and it isn't the actual contraption, but still, that's a pretty good idea. There's some vintage pillowcases for $12.50. I like the rickrack that's on those. Here's a little chicken for $15. Salt and pepper shaker. And here's now. Let's see. Let's see what we got. This is cute. A pad of pencil and a date. Jot it down before it's too late. $12.50. That is really cool. I like that. So we've got a nice little, this is neat. This is a Seattle toothpick holder for $10. I like souvenir pieces. They're not often that valuable, but I myself just like them. $10 for the shakers, which for me, that's that's retail. They still, nope. They don't have their noise maker. Well, that one does, but... Oh, she kind of squeaks still a little bit. Yeah, that's what those... That's what that is when you see these in the, and they have this kind of weird thing at the bottom. They're noisemakers. Look at them. She's a happy gal. He doesn't look as happy. He looks a little annoyed. Look, it's Misty and Mark. Happy and annoyed. That's typical. That's a cool lamp. Oh my gosh, is it with the shade? For six sixty-nine dollars with the fiberglass shade. That's an amazing price. It's got this black and gold, almost looks like a pineapple. Seventy dollars. That's pretty darn good. All right, let's check out these Russians. See, this is twenty-nine dollars as well, and I this one's in a little bit better shape, although. He does have, um, he has the, the, the black kind of sewn boots, and the other one has the white rubber boots. This one is $75. He is amazing. Rubber face with the white boots. He's a lot bigger. And then look at this little fella. He is sparkly. Now these can do pretty good. It was an advertisement for 7-Up. Um, Coke promotional idea. So I might look him up to see if there's any room. He's $50. That might be pushing it. I do see one thing. I'm going to think about him. I might get him too, but I see one thing that I'm definitely going to get. And that is this poodle pillow for $9.50 because that's awesome. I'm not gonna get Sparkly because that is the retail price for him. So I'm gonna leave him there. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna get this other Santa here too. So I've got these two, I love him. I would love to get him, he's $75. So I'm not gonna spend that much on him today. But I'm gonna get two of them. So Santa, you're gonna join my cart as well with your buddy. There you go. Be good, boys. Oh, I love this. This cookie jar is pretty amazing. These are $45 for the Humpty Dumpty salt and pepper shakers. There's a nice big Santa plate, but I do see this turkey that I love. He's $15. Lemons here, twenty nine dollars. Yeah. I love, love this booth. Love, love, love it. And I think I might before. Well, when I'm before I go too much further, I probably will take my findings up to the counter because it's pretty full. All right, I have ventured downstairs, and it's still lots of lots of space down here in my. First thing that caught my eye was I'd love to have that Louis Vuitton bag right there. But that's not what we're here today for, folks. Let's see what other vintage treasures. I did get a few more things. And I will be doing a haul video so you'll see some of the other things that I bought. But here is a fun little shelf of some vintage toys. I like these roly-polies. This is $8.00. Mm, the condition's a little rough. Some trucks. These trucks, if they were red especially, they sell pretty well because people will put little Christmas trees and do little displays. 
with them. It's a zoo. The zoo unit study book for five ninety nine. Indiana University dishes. I do find these a lot at Goodwill, but we are in um, the city where Indiana University is in. Hey, I have this little guy. I just bought it, and I wasn't for sure what kind of animal it was. Let's see what they say. It's a dog. It's a dog planter. Okay. It's a $5.99 for the um, flower frog. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let me set down my basket here for a second because I had both of these as a child. Oh my, I loved my McDonald's play set. And has seen some better days. And the Fisher Price ramp. Oh. Let's see if the bell still rings. Oh, it does. Memories. Memories. All right, let's see. How much do they want for their kitchen tools? Four dollars for the sifter. Okay, here's another no mall. Oh, for six dollars? I might actually get that. These do pretty well. Um, but they make great Halloween. I don't. It's like I don't want to really buy Halloween something, so I don't know. But they do make great. Halloween displays. So I don't think I'm going to get it today. I'm just not, not really wanting to do anything Halloween related. Just not in the mood. Alright, looks like some CDs and that sort of thing over there. Alright, try to bypass the stereo a little bit so we're not picking up on the stereo. Oh, I see some hound dogs. And some breasts. And some schnauzers. There's schnauzers down there. Alright, how much are these little hound doggies? Seven dollars. Little Sad Sam. They're made in Japan. A what product? A quality product made in Japan. I think I'm going to get the little Sad Sams because they're pretty awfully cute, I have to say. So, I'm going to stick Sad Sam and his buddy in my basket. I found these at Goodwill several times. This is a solid brass crane. I went $14 for it, which isn't a bad price. This is a nice little basket here. A little mail basket for $4.80. Looking for things for Emma and her apartment. Oh, here's a wooden cat for $6.80. I mean, he's pretty fabulous. Would somebody want this wooden cat? You think? I'm kind of liking the wooden cat. What do you think? Wooden cat for $6.80? Can I get $12 for it, you think? I don't know. Let's see. And everyone's going to yell at me. You should get the wooden cat. I do like this bird here. For $8. But... The bottom looks a little suspect to me. I don't quite think he's that old. The bottom of it is very, very white and very, very clean. That's what makes me wonder. I love these pottery pieces. I'm going to think about you, cat. I wanted to show you this whole wall of paint by numbers. Let's check out the prices. This one is $59 for the landscape. $29, $29, see the ducks, $20 for the set of those, oh, the, these dogs up here, oh my gosh, they are $32 each, and these dogs are $75, $40 each, or $75 for the pair, they're pretty Pretty good, but I just I just thought that you guys might want to see a whole wall full of paint by numbers. I have to say, I'm 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 being spendy today. I, I, I'm spending some money here today, but I've got some cool stuff that I can't wait to show you. All right, let's look at the M. A. Hadley. 
$12 for the cat bowl. Here's the little dipper for $13. Look at my basket. It's full. I'm really hoping that I can drown out some of the music, but this is a booth that I wanted to, this, that I remember the most. It's just fun, kind of kitschy things that remind me of my childhood, like this house, <laughs> these Fisher Price toys. And then there's Ziggy up there, and here's a big Puda Schnuda. I'm gonna have to get that down here in a second and check that out. Oh my gosh, there's Super Grover. Do you guys remember Super Grover? He's $10. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, there's Joey. <sighs> okay, here's the deal. Let me just tell you. My husband, this was my husband's doll when he was, we still have it. And he named it Joey. It's a little Fisher Price doll. We still have Joey. Oh, you're cute. Oh, that's super cute for $6. I think I'm going to get that. I think somebody will like that. Okay, this is amazing. It's $10, that pink mercury glass tree topper. It's pretty neat. And the color of this little angel, old chalk angel, she's $10. She's sweet. She's got a little bit of spaghetti down there by her feet. And also, who remembers Gargamel? There's Gargamel. Oh, he was not a nice man. Oh, we've got some dream pets. There's the skunk and the Christmas deer. Are you a dream pet? You are. You're a little Christmas deer. You're cute. monkey is super cute too look it's little baby Aaron it's little baby Aaron in his little engineer suit should I get little baby Aaron oh my gosh do we need a little baby Aaron here's another little dream pet the kitty cat for ten dollars my hip looks like he's been in the devil's lettuce a little bit I have to say and then this girl she's twelve fifty I love these rag dolls. There's another dream pet. Oh, he's got a fancy hat on. He's seven fifty. Then we've got Elmer Fudd for ten. Here's I don't know, Finding Dory. Oh, I see a little baby Santa. Here is Mohawk Tommy for twenty. Look. Oh my gosh. I mean, what's going on here, Santa? Were you born with a beard? I had no idea. Okay, I'm walking up the stairs to the third floor. <gasps> Do you see it? <gasps> there he is. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. He's beautiful. I'm not going to be able to afford him. Oh, look at that. To show that to Jeffrey. $250. He's amazing. Oh my word. So this is going to be a booth that I'm going to like. Move my basket to the side. I will get a hold of Jeffrey about that pebble art. But another fun booth over here. This caught my eye. This giraffe. $29. He's a spaghetti giraffe. I have never seen anything as such. I have a feeling that this is going to be a spendy booth, but it's fun to look at. Oh my gosh, look at him. There's another baby Jeffrey. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. I love these so much. <laughs> Looks just like baby Jeff. Jeff, he's eating ice cream cone. This is just ridiculous. Oh, here's some more M.A. Hadley pig for 12 50 for the trivet there. Thank you, 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 thank you. $15 for the blue pottery pig. 
<laughs> You're fun, gal. Where's your price tag? You're fifteen dollars. You are. You're a boatload of fun there, gal. You're left in. Wow. Fifteen dollars. I'm spending a lot of fifteen dollars today. It seems like. Okay, we've got some treasures up there too. Um, the boots. Here's a spaghetti poodle. Oh my gosh, look at the lamp of an elephant. $10. It's bisque. Ugh. Those are cute too. Look at their little ears. They're mommy. It's a mommy and baby poodle. Cute. Look at the little baby. Those are super cute. This is adorable. $29 firm. That's so cute. Okay, what's this? $15 for the gray and pink. That's fun. That's fun, fun, fun. Alrighty. here. We've got some nice vintage linens as well. Look at that. $49. Wow. Look at the dress. Oh, and that is neat too. The Turner. $150 for the Turner parrots. There's a fun quilt here too, this black and pink, and some chenille with a cowboy on it. $39 firm. That's a neat chenille blanket with a cowboy on it. Well, oh my gosh, here's another one. He is $75. Oh my gosh. He is amazing. Love you.